So my first YouTube check was K-A-Y-E-N-I-G-M-A, what's up? Looking good? I keep slaying? As you should. And if you are new or returning, do you love me? I know you do. So like, comment, and hit subscribe too. And hey, like, comment, and hit subscribe too. So we're going to cut right to the chase, you guys. I know that's what you are here for. I am going to just close my first YouTube check and about how much I made at the end of the video but this is also going to be a kind of walkthrough talk through on how to get monetized on youtube if you guys don't know i have recently been monetized on youtube so shout out to you guys for getting me to my threshold of subscribers and watch hours i always always voice my appreciation but i just want to give another quick shout out to you guys even though i put in the work for you guys to watch my videos i wouldn't be where i am without you guys actually watching them so just a quick shout out to y'all but anyway let's get into how to get monetized on youtube now basically you need 1,000 subscribers and you need to reach 4,000 watch hours over the span of the previous 12 months. So I'll insert clips here of me kind of climbing. I had the 1,000 subscribers and it just took me getting the watch hours and a lot of people get confused with that. You can have people who subscribe to your channel, like somebody can have 2,000 subscribers but let's say that some of those subscribers are inactive or people are not watching your video all the way through so the more watch time minutes you get that totals up into hours and that will help you reach your threshold so it's not that subscribers are not important but it's much easier to reach 1,000 subscribers than it is to get the watch hours so a lot of people you'll see have a thousand subscribers but they're trying to get their watch hours up so they may start making longer videos or they may tell you, you know watch the full video and leave certain parts at the end so you'll you'll watch the full video and they will get the time once you reach the threshold for monetization, your channel will automatically be sent to YouTube to review and they will basically make sure that the hours that are counted within your watch time are legitimate. So basically, let's say there is a video that got a lot of watch time, but it's not necessarily within the community guidelines that unfortunately will not be counted. So even though your channel automatically goes into review and you don't have to send them anything, I waited until, you know, I was a little over 4,000 watch hours, about 4,100 before I just, you know, got super, super excited. I didn't want to be at exactly 4,000 in case there were some videos that didn't count, whether that be for copyright reasons, for community guideline reasons. But luckily, none of my videos, you know, didn't reach the threshold. I got monetized right away. And it can take anywhere from two weeks to a month for your channel to get reviewed. And that is what allows you to get monetized. So even though your channel reaches the threshold, you don't immediately just get monetized right away. There are a lot, a lot of steps once you reach the threshold. So it's a very long process, but it's worth it in a sense because basically it's just like measures they have to take to make sure that you are you, you are securing yourself on a platform so there's a lot of steps you have to take to verify a lot of different information which is what takes the most time not necessarily getting monetized you will get an email from YouTube and I will put mine on the side, somewhere on the side of the screen of what it looks like. It basically emails you to the email connected to your YouTube account and it tells you congratulations, your channel has, you know, it's good to go, it's good, it's been under review, you're good to go and immediately your channel is monetized. You immediately get little green icons underneath your channel. Um, underneath your video so if you go into your youtube studio which if you do not have youtube studio and you are on a youtube platform and you're a youtuber definitely download it to your phone and you can go online as well but sometimes it's a little more accessible on your phone there are certain features within the youtube studio app on your phone that you cannot access 
um, online as much so definitely the desktop version is better but if you need to just edit quick little things on your phone that's a great app to have a lot of the times I will already have my videos uploaded to YouTube but I need to like change the thumbnails or change the description and add tags on my phone if I'm on the go even though it's already scheduled so it's very very helpful this is not a sponsorship this is just me trying to help y'all out so this is gonna be jam-packed with information so make sure you subscribe enjoy the K gang and keep it being lit fun and having a good time because that's what we are we're informative but we also have fun so the thing that I had to learn with this was you will either see green icons yellow icons or you will see a line through the money sign what it basically means is if you see a line through the money sign that means your video is not making any type of money that means you're not getting money that video is not under YouTube guidelines. It's either for copyright reasons or it doesn't meet like it's inappropriate, something within the video. And it will normally tell you the reason why. That reason is normally for copyright reasons. Now, a big feature that YouTubers have, which a lot of YouTubers are having trouble with, is the yellow icon. So the yellow money icon means that your video has some ads, but it's not displaying all. So basically how you get money basically from your videos is through Google AdSense. So when you get monetized, that money that you are getting from your videos is from ads being placed in your videos. So these little icons, when you upload a video or for the videos you already have on your channel, tell you if your video is suitable for you to make money off of it. So a lot of YouTubers will re-upload a video because their videos get yellow marked. So that's why it's best to put your videos on private and if they get yellow marked, try to re-upload them or see the reason why. A lot of my videos got yellow marked as far as my more controversial videos. So sometimes you have to change the titles around a little bit or you have to just put it under review if they just yellow mark it for absolutely no reason. And the reason being is because there have been a lot of people who have taken advantage of the YouTube platform and they've kind of had to implement all of these steps so that way they know your video is safe the right people are viewing it so it is kind of a pain for the people who are genuinely trying to put out good content and whose videos constantly get yellow marked but i promise you once you put it under review it claims that you need at least a thousand views but there's a lot of my videos that got yellow marked that didn't have a thousand views i put them under review and they reviewed it right away and they were like your video is good to go and the yellow icon changes to green so just a thing out there if you see that your videos got monetized but they have yellow icons you have to go through each individual video and set your monetization so i had to go back to all of my videos and i had to independently put ads on them now, a big thing that YouTubers do, if you see that their videos are over 10 minutes or they stress like getting their minutes, getting the video to 10 minutes, it's because when your video is over 10 minutes, 10 minutes or over, you can put however many ads you want. So if you have a 10 minute exactly video and you want to put 20 ads on it, you can do that. You have to go back through all of your videos and you have to put ads on them. and. If you go into your YouTube studio, I don't know the exact buttons you have to press, but for me, I go to the new YouTube studio and I click the tab that says monetization. And when you click the tab that says monetization, it will pop up a screen that basically will lead you to a page that tells you that your YouTube account is monetized, you're part of the YouTube partner program, meaning that you're monetized, your videos are making money, all of that good stuff. And underneath that at the bottom, it will say monetization settings for future videos and then monetization settings for individual videos. You can set your monetization settings for future videos. So basically, if you want your videos to upload on private, what you want your description bar to say, um, what you want your title to say, if you want to put a default title, basically all of your defaults. But what that will do is set its own ads in place. So let's say you want to put six ads on a video, but the default, it only puts like a video in the beginning, the middle of your video, and the end. It's best to go and have your future monetization settings set up, but it's also best to always go back to your individual video and put the amount of ads that you want. If you have a video that is under 10 minutes, it will just be a ad at the beginning and I believe an ad at the end. So if you have a video over 10 minutes, like I said, you can put as many ads as you want before, during, and after. So just a little tip. Now, it gets a little bit confusing because like I said, you get your money through Google AdSense. Now, YouTube Partner Program will show you a different amount than Google AdSense. Now the threshold you have to reach to take out a minimum amount is $100. So you have to reach a minimum amount of $100 to take the money out of your account.
But before you can even take the money out of your account, before you get paid, before you're, you know, after your videos start making money or whatnot, there are a lot of steps you have to take. The first thing that you have to do is make sure that you have the right address, make sure everything is connected. I know a lot of people say not to make a Google AdSense account until after your YouTube is monetized, but I highly Highly suggest you make one as soon as you start your YouTube because it is less hassle. You don't have to worry. You have everything set up. So all you have to do is remember the password and the email that you sign up with your Google AdSense. Your email should be the same email that you have your YouTube under. So my email that is connected to my Google account is also connected to my Google AdSense because obviously Google, Google AdSense, it should be the same email. So it just makes it much easier. So make sure that you have all your YouTube stuff underneath one account and try to keep that to just YouTube. If you need to make a separate email for YouTube and reconnect everything, then do that. But I highly, highly suggest you get all your ducks in one row and have everything together so when you have to do these processes of verification it's so much easier for you so a major thing with me is that i move and if you guys haven't seen my movie vlogs go check them out shameless promo but i had to change my address because the first thing that you do is you have to connect an account you connect a card you connect a banking account so that way they can wire direct deposit your money I went into Google AdSense, I signed in through my YouTube account, and it told me, it has a little bell in the corner, oh, these are the actions you need to take. The first one is the deposit verification once you connect your card. So once you connect your card or whatever to your account, whether that be, you know, your parents' card, if you are not old enough to have your own card, whether that be any type of banking account, that is the account that your YouTube money from your Google AdSense is going to go to. So once you connect that, you can get a deposit of however many cents, and then once you get that within one or two days, I, I believe, after you um, add a card or add some banking information, it will deposit an amount of cents into your account. For me, it took two days exactly, just to, um, it didn't show up on my card until two days later. So then once I got that, I got the 74 cents, it will say direct deposit. And if you look on Google AdSense, it has a little picture next to it of what it's supposed to look like. So make sure to stay on the lookout for any little, little coin amounts that will confirm that that is your account. So once I put in that the deposit verification was 74 cents, then what I had to do was verify my address. Now here is where it took the most time for me because like I said, I moved. So because I used to live in New York, I had my New York address connected to my Google AdSense account. But it was already so much easier because I already had a Google AdSense account. I just had to change my address. And even though it set the pin to my old address, let's say that you... Um, don't get your pin you can have it reset after it's been a while so basically you get a pin which i'm going to show you guys i got mine today you get a pin and basically it is a five number pin and you have to put in that five number pin to confirm your address so you also have to put in your tax information so once you get your deposit verification let me clear this up for you guys then it will tell you to confirm your address Make sure you have the right address, make sure the pin is sent to the right address because they're going to send you a pin to your address and you basically have to confirm, all right, this is my account, this address that is connected to my account is where I live and that way they can just verify that you are the person that you say you are. It's a lot of steps to get this money, but look, we want to get the money, all right, so we're going to do the steps. So the most tedious part will be waiting for this pin, I'm telling you right now. I've heard horror stories of people who have resent them out three times and they still have not gotten it and they have troubleshooting questions like let's say you don't receive your pin or it's been a month and you still haven't gotten it then we send you the same one it will let you know oh this is where you put your pin in and you put the pin in and you press submit and it basically verifies your address you also have to fill in your tax information so after you get the deposit verification, then you verify your address, you have to put in your tax information. For everybody, this is different according to state or where you live, so I really can't get too much into that. But if you have not done taxes before, or if you are under 18, or if you just don't have your own bank account, that is something that you can talk more to your parents about, because I don't want to give the wrong information. These are just the steps to kind of clear up for people who are confused. After that, the time that you get paid on YouTube, I believe, is the 21st. Don't quote me on that. I know your YouTube account on your YouTube studio is going to show you a different amount than it will show on your Google AdSense. 
For me, my Google AdSense showed that I only made $45, which was not enough to reach the $100 threshold. But on my YouTube studio at the time, it showed that I had been reached my $100 threshold and I had made about $150 at the time. I was completely, completely confused, but then I realized that on Google AdSense, it does not show YouTube metrics. And on the 15th of every month, so let's say like your YouTube studio is telling you $150. That is just based on the amount of people that click on your video, not necessarily the amount of money that you're making from ads, which is why Google AdSense and the YouTube metrics are completely different. So the Google AdSense is based on actual metrics and people actually click and watch a video through and it will give its own little breakdown of how your videos are doing, why it made this much, how many people were clicking it per minute, how well it did compared to your other videos, and all of that good stuff. So my first YouTube check was $238.52. So it was a little bit of coin, all right? I'm not going to lie. So yeah, you know, it was a little bit of coin. I'm thankful. Thank you guys. Shout out to y'all for helping me make that $238. I believe my most viewed video, the one that made me the most money so far, was my how to ship my orders for my entrepreneur series. That made me $84. And the rest of my videos collectively made me the rest that added up to the $238.52. But that video made me the most money. It was at 5k views before I got monetized and now it is at 17k views. Views. So shout out to y'all for having that video peak and get so many numbers and do numbers. Thank you guys for watching all of my videos, not just the ones that make me money and make you grow a coin. But your girl's hustling out here. It feels great to get, you know, an extra $200 every month. And if you guys don't know, the YouTube money adds up every month. So let's say I make $150 this month, then that $230 I already made will be added to the $150 and that is the amount I will get every month. And every month it adds up so in case you guys don't know how these youtubers be making all this coin it is very smart to save it though it's great getting monetized but a lot of this is going to be savings for future things i have planned for the future so just stay tuned but thank you guys so much for watching this video i'm sorry if it was long-winded actually i'm not because y'all already know i give you guys information okay but thank you guys so much for watching make sure you subscribe enjoy the k gang it's fun it's free it's lit it's a good time give this video a like and a comment down below feel free to ask me any questions that you still have my links for my social media are in the description bar and they will be on the screen somewhere feel free to ask me any questions in the comments as well if you are still confused and Make sure that you click that bell for post notifications to know when I post. I love you all so much and I am so thankful and so blessed. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, K-Gang.